Welcome to another episode. The tight relationship Prince Harry has with a father figure whose wife attended the same school as Meghan Markle. But please before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for updates. Also don't forget to like this video thanks. David Foster, who Prince Harry considers to be a father figure, is very close with him. On Saturday, the Duke of Sussex was photographed playing polo in California while Meghan and the kids remained at home. The American Idol runner-up Catherine McPhee, 38, and his buddy David Foster, 72, were present at the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club. According to rumors, Prince Charles' younger brother, David, a musician, has reportedly played a significant part in Harry's development and is regarded as his other father before the Sussexes eventually relocated to California, David reportedly assisted them in finding a property in Canada. In an interview with Access Hollywood, Catherine detailed how he assisted Harry and Meghan in locating their multi-million dollar property in Canada, the resource guy is David. He knows every location. He enjoys supporting others. All we can do is hope they find a place where they can truly establish themselves. The Duke of Sussex's relationship with Prince Charles has been worse over the past few years, but since going to the US, it has gotten better. In May 2020, Catherine said that the Duke and her husband share a unique bond, my husband and Harry are in a truly lovely friendship. They are adorable. Like father and son, they are one. Finding exclusive retreats for the Christmas holidays has also been a major accomplishment for David. Using his connections and information, he had already planned a covert vacation for Doreen, the mother of Meghan, and Archie, who was then seven months old. Catherine and Meghan attended the same Catholic school in an odd coincidence. But by the time Catherine attended the Los Angeles Middle School, the Duchess had already graduated from high school. Catherine, who went to a school named Immaculate Heart, acknowledged that she and Meghan appeared together in a few school plays, but they were never close friends. She and her husband David, however, became friends with Harry and Meghan after appearing in The Musical Waitress in London, and they have kept in touch ever since. Another news. Prince Harry is allegedly Prince William's hitman, as opposed to his wingman, in his ghostwritten memoir, Prince Harry said he would describe his experiences, not as the prince I was born, but as the man I have become. According to the late royal's author, Princess Diana, always expected Prince Harry to act as Prince William's wingman, and not a hitman, since the Duke of Sussex, 38, and his wife Meghan Markle announced they were leaving the royal life in 2020, the relationship between the two brothers has been viewed as tense. Prince Harry's memoir, which has been hailed as unflinching, is expected to be published soon, and both Kensington Palace and Buckingham Palace are eagerly awaiting it. The book, which will be released on January 10, 2023, is not anticipated to be seen by the firm in advance. Harry and William's mother would have preferred that her younger son back her eldest rather than launch an assault, according to Andrew Morton, the late Princess Diana's biographer, as rumours about the contents of the wholly honest biography linger. Diana always anticipated Harry to be a wingman to William rather than a hitman, according to Mr. Morton, therefore it will be fascinating to see how the book is received inside the royal family. The name refers to the Duke of Sussex's status as the elder brother of Prince William, the successor to the throne, and the second-born child. The memoir will take, according to promotional material, the world watched in sorrow and horror as two little boys, two princes, walked behind their mother's coffin. This is one of the most heartbreaking pictures of the 20th century. Pictures of Prince William and Prince Harry at Princess Diana's funeral in 1997 were seen all around the world. The book was referred to as a landmark effort by the publishers. Then it will, the publisher said, full of insight, revelation, self-examination, and hard-won wisdom about the enduring power of love over pain. The book will also be available as an audiobook and in 16 different languages. The Duke has designated $1.5 million of the book's earnings to Centibale, charity that Prince Harry and Prince Ciso of Lesotho founded in 2006. Thanks for watching till the end.